Okay, and this is my Taco hot water circulator, and it keeps hot water in my main line, so I have almost instant hot water to my hot water fixtures throughout the house. And I will show you how I went about installing this. This is my hot water circulating pump, Taco Smart Plus. Model is 008 IQSF6. And it's already installed, and I'll show that to you in just a moment. But the instructions come with two different install options. And I did option number two, where I mounted the pump um, after all the fixtures, just before the water returns back into the hot water heater. Let me explain quickly the setup I'm dealing with in my house because I had one challenge because hot water comes out of my hot water heater, this line on the left, but actually tees off. So what I needed to do is make one complete loop by removing that T. I put an elbow in right there and then completed the loop by, I had to expand some of this line from half inch to three quarter inch and then connected it in to the other side of the house and then ran a half inch line back to complete the loop. And then my pump sits here and just pipes into the cold water in. Before I did this, it would take almost a whole minute over here in the master bath to get hot water. Now it takes about four or five seconds, very quick. There's a kitchen sink here. Before it took over a minute to get hot water to that kitchen sink. Uh, now it takes 10, 12 seconds because there's a little bit of a line here that's not circulated but still much quicker. And I have, uh, it's a two-story house, so there's some lines that come off here and go up to the second floor. Up there, we'd have to wait a minute and a half. Now, within 20, 25 seconds, we get hot water even upstairs. So it's really improved how quickly we get hot water throughout the house. Okay, so my pump setup matches setup option number two, except I didn't use all the unions that they use here. Other than that, pretty much the same setup. So, so my return line comes back. And then here's a shutoff valve. Here's my pump, the two flanges. That is a check valve to prevent back flow. And then here's my bleed setup. So there's another on-off valve. I do have one union and then um, valves for air bleeding. And it runs right back into my hot water heater into, you can't see it behind the exhaust, but into the cold water input. So water will then pump back into my tank. The pump, pump and bleed valves, like I said, comes back and I just ran it right here. This is my cold water in, into the hot water heater. So I just ran it right into this cold water in line. And so this is cold water, but right here, this is piping hot. In fact, the pump's running right now. That's really hot and runs right back to my hot, hot water heater. And so that completes the loop. Here's the master bath sink. We haven't run water back here for a while. If I put that to hot, turn it on. Cold, warm, hot. Hot water. Already, within moments, it'll be too hot. Keep my hand in there. So, Beautiful.